Hello, hello everyone. It's World of Tanks with Taffy. Now today, before you all judge me, I got this thing before the arty patch. So I'm not, I haven't just turned to scumbaggery just because of making a video. I did have this before the arty patch and an SU5 uh, before they uh, nerfed the arty. But hey, let's look at the M41 today. So straight into the stats of the artillery, hit points, Irrelevant. 230. Weight limit. Mine weighs nearly 20 tons. It can weigh up to just over 21. Engine power. Now this is quite important actually for artillery because you've got to remember you've got to have enough engine power to drown yourself guys or relocate. Hopefully relocate. Uh, speed limit can get up to 56.3 kilometers per hour. It'll take you a little bit of time to get there but you once you get there you'll get your you'll you'll more or less stick around the, the 48 to 50 depending on what ground you're on. Uh, traverse speed 20 degrees, eh, it's not too bad. Hull armor, forget it, you get shot at, you're gonna die, it's artillery. Standard shell damage 525 to 875, that's pretty good. But remember that's a direct hit and the artillery now has come a lot more inaccurate. Well it's not, apparently it's more accurate, it just takes longer to aim in and therefore people rush the shots and it's just become on average more inaccurate. Rate of fire, 2.4 rounds per minute. Um, this is a this was a big wake up call to me because I was used to my SU-85, uh, sorry SU-5. Um, okay, let's take a slight detail here, just from this. I just want to show you what artillery was like before the, um, before the RT nerf. So let's just go to vehicles and uh, let's Scroll down. Come on. Here we go. I need to find battles average about 30 ish. Uh, there we go. There's my SU SU5. Check out the stats on this. This was artillery before it had the nerf. Battles 30. Victories 56%. Battles survived 50%. Hit ratio pff, no one cares about that. Maximum destroyed per battle 5. Enemies destroyed 29 in 30 games. Yeah. Only got killed 15 times. Destruction ratio 1.93. Damage 16,000. Received 3,000. Okay, yeah, you haven't got much health, but 16,000 damage done. Average score per battle. Enemies destroyed 0.97. Experience 275. I'll just show you the awards on this thing. <clears throat> yep, that's it. Battle hero, Confederate times three. In a tier 4 artillery. Honorary ranks, Reaper and Master Gunner. That was artillery before the RT nerf. It was biblically good. But all the tank destroyers started going, oh no, we're getting killed by artillery. So they nerfed the artillery. What's happened now? All the top tier heavy tanks are going, shit, tank destroyers are all really good. Yeah, they're that's what they do, they destroy tanks. So they're nerfing the guns on the tank destroyers. What's going to happen next? The meds are going to complain about the heavies, and then the lights are going to complain about the meds, and it's just going to go around in a circle. And the lights are going to get nerfed then, because the RC will complain, and the RC will complain that they can't kill anything, and so they all get a, might get a... Everything's just going to go a cycle of being nerfed, and being slight buff rebalancing. But, ugh, useless. Let's get back to this. Where were we? Yeah, gun traverse speed, 10 degrees. That's awful. Awful, awful, awful. You need, when you're aiming in artillery now, you need to concentrate on one half of the map and bloody stay concentrated on that half of the map. Otherwise, you're just going to miss everything and have to re aim and. Oh, it's horrible. View range and signal range. Yeah, it's not too bad. Signal range is 750, so that's alright. But look at this on the 155 gun. This is the top gun. Right at fire, 2.4. Average penetration, 78, 240. Don't use heat with this because it doesn't have splash radius. It just doesn't. Average damage, 700. Accuracy, 0.82. American RT is not that accurate. The French is probably the most... French and the British are probably the most accurate. The Americans are, have big splash radiuses. Aiming time, 7 seconds. You've got to have a lot of patience playing artillery these days. A lot of patience. So let's get into equipment with this. Uh, camouflage net, you don't want to be seen, you're artillery. 
medium caliber artillery shell armor, get that loading time down slightly, and for God's sake, get yourself a gun laying drive, plus 10% to aiming speed, it's just good. Ammunition, 22 HE, that's all you need, well, you could, I suppose, pack 2 heat if you want a TD mode, but the chances of you ever having to TD mode in this, very rare, because you'll probably get killed out of nowhere, and also you're probably not going to do have much of a chance to do it, so just fire HE anyway. Consumables, I just put them on there because why not. Okay, here's where we get it's slightly more interesting than just boring consumables. Crew skills. Commander, I've gone for Mentor on mine. I would did have Camouflage on it, but I wanted to get the other crew skills up really fast, so I put Mentor on it. Uh, gunner, Camouflage, every, well, everyone's got Camouflage. After this, I'm going to switch Mentor out for six cents if I ever get this up to 100%, that is gonna, um, probably, um, I don't actually know, Dead Eye, Dead Eye is a favourite of mine, uh, off-road driving for the uh, driver, situational awareness probably for the uh, radio operator, and for the loader, um, let's have repairs, just in case artillery tries to counter us, and any artillery who counters us, and we get our tracks blown off, then we can get them up quicker without using that repair kit and just drive off. Because remember, HE he does a lot of damage. If he hits near you and doesn't kill you, likely to knock out your tracks, possibly knock out your gun if you're very unlucky, or knock out your, damage your ammo rack. That might get your gun, that might get your tracks back up, then you can save your repair kit for either your gun or your ammo rack. Personally, I'd probably go with the gun. You fire. You're firing so slow anyway. You will be firing. Um, I mean, you know, ammo rack seven. What is it? Two point five rounds. Two point four rounds per minute. You fire slow anyway. N nobody's really going to notice how much slower you're firing, as long as you are firing and not just sitting at the back and then drowning yourself at the end of it. Uh, reason why I haven't done any uh, armor profiles for this is because the armor is just pointless. Twelve, twelve, and twelve. It's just it's, no point. It's, if you get shot at, you're gonna die. Uh, I haven't put a camouflage color on this because I don't play it that much. I only take this out once or twice a month uh, when I'm in a very, very, very good mood. Um, I can't play RT when I'm in a bad mood because I just die a lot. <laughs> That's what happens really in artillery most of these days. Um, the tank before this was the, so it is, the M37, or oh, you can get to it from the Chaffee. I didn't realise that, but there we go. Why you'd want to, I have no idea. Probably just to elite the Chaffee. And uh, the M44 leads on to the M44. I'm not going to free XP that, because I'm saving my free XP for something else. So, uh, sorry guys, no M44 review as of yet. I can't really remember what I'm saving it for, but I know I'm saving it for something. That's basically the M41. I did this because, hell, it's I've got RT, I've got a tank. Might as well review it. You know, tell you what it's like. It's it's not that bad. If there's a couple of you playing, if there's a platoon of two or three of you playing the M41s, it's good fun. If um, you just want to troll people, take it into a tier 10 game. I mean, why not? You'll get so much experience if you hit something in this. If you're in a tier 10 game, don't forget now with the. Uh, matchmaker and arty lowest you're going to see is a tier 3 and highest you're going to see is a tier 7 which is quite um, disheartening really because you used to be able to fire at tier 5 arty used to be able to kill tier 9s I think it was yeah they probably got I think tier 2 5s probably got into tier 8 9 games not anymore you only see tier 7s guys sorry about that it's not under my control. There we go. Sorry for the rather depressing scumbag review, everybody. Normal service will be resumed as soon as possible. Keep calm. Game on, guys. Catch you.